Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check a new compact 20 by 20 mm stack by SpeedyB. As you would probably expect from SpeedyB, the flight controller which is bundled with the stack is equipped with an onboard Bluetooth chip which will enable you to wirelessly configure the flight controller and even flash the firmware of the ESC using SpeedyB's app and in this quick video I'm going to go over its features and specs and show you how to set it up. First of all, in terms of packaging, inside the box of the stack, you are getting the flight controller, the 4-in-1 ESC, a short 8-pin JST harness for connecting them together, an XT30 battery connector, which is pre-soldered to 7 cm long, 16-gauge silicone-coated wires, a 35 volts 470 microfarad capacitor, two sets of M2 and M3 screws, along with silicone grommets, and a small card that shows you where to download SpeedyB's app, which is available for both iOS and Android devices. In terms of features and specs, the new SpeedyB stack is based on a 35 amperes BLLES 4-in-1 ESC and an F7 flight controller. The 4-in-1 ESC features a relatively small form factor considering its ampere rating. The motor pads can be accessed from both its top and bottom sides and on the battery pads you can find small holes for securing a capacitor. As for the F7 flight controller, it features a USB Type-C connector, both 9V and 5V 2A BCs, which makes it friendly for using it for a digital build. All the pads are labeled, which is quite handy, and it features a Bluetooth onboard chip, as I mentioned before. Pay attention that unlike its bigger brother, it doesn't feature a Wi-Fi chip, which means that currently you won't be able to update the firmware of the flight controller using SpeedyB's app. In addition, both 4-in-1 ESC and flight controller can be powered with between 3 to 6S batteries, and on the front side you can find a cutout for an FPV camera. In terms of dimensions, individually the 4-in-1 ESC weighs 7.3 grams, and the flight controller weighs 5.9 grams. The outer dimensions of the 4-in-1 ESC are 33.9 by 31.8 by 4.5 millimeters, and the outer dimensions of the flight controller are 30 by 28.5 by 7.8 millimeters. Together, along with the M2 silicon grommets and the harness that connects them, the flight controller and the ESC weigh just under 14 grams, and the total height of the stack is about 14 millimeters. Now I've got the SpeedyB mini stack powered up, and using SpeedyB's app, we'll be able to configure the flight controller in the same manner that you'll be able to configure it using your computer, and on an upcoming version that should be out soon, also flash the firmware of the 4-in-1 ESC. As for connecting the flight controller to your peripherals, including VTX, camera, and etc., SpeedyB provides you with a pretty good example of how it's done. And overall, as far as I can tell, the new SpeedyB mini stack looks like a very capable and compact option for a 20 by 20 mm stack. So in case you're in the market for a similar product, it's definitely something that you should consider getting. On the other hand, in my opinion, in case your build allows you to use a bigger 30.5 by 30.5 mm stack, you should go for the full size version, as for $15 extra, you are going to get a flight controller which is equipped with a Wi Fi chip, which will enable you to wirelessly flash the firmware of the flight controller. It is also equipped with a dedicated JST connector for the DJI Air unit. Its soldering pads are easier to work with. You're going to get a 45 amperes BLLE32 4 in 1 ESC instead of of a 35 amperes BLLES ESC in the mini version, and in addition to the JST connectors which connect the 4-in-1 ESC with the flight controller, you'll also have soldering pads, so in case one of the connectors break, you'll be able to use these pads, whereas this option is not available in the mini version. Anyway, that's going to be it for my quick review of the SpeedyB mini stack and hopefully I'll be able to feature it in one of my build videos, so stay tuned. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, 
and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.